Hi, Genoa parents and students. This is Ms. Martinez, a technology teacher. I hope you are all well, and I just wanted to check in, say hello, and give a brief introduction on how to sign into the Clever portal from home. I created a student login from home handout that will be distributed with student packets and posted to our Genoa Facebook page. In this video, we will go ahead and go over the handout and then show you how to sign into Clever. Clever Portal is actually going to be used for your child to log in and access online resources like Dreambox, which is used for math, and iStation for reading, as well as their teacher pages that are provided that teachers have been posting links and activities to. When you get your handout, you're going to copy this link right here, and you're going to paste it into your URL bar, or you could type it character by character. As soon as you type in that link, you're going to arrive at the Clever homepage. There are two ways for your child to log in. The first way is if they have a Clever badge, which is mostly a lot of our kinder and first grade students use this form to log in because it is easier for them to just scan the badge instead of having to type in each letter. So the Clever badge requires you to have a camera on your tablet or computer. If you do not, that's okay. Then you would sign in with the other option. Now, when you do select the Clever Badge login and you click on the Clever Badge, it's going to ask you, do you want to use your camera? You either press Allow or Block. If you block it, you will not be able to scan your badge. Now, you're probably wondering, what does this badge look like? However you've been communicating with your child's homeroom teacher is how you're going to receive this student badge. It looks like this. It's going to be a QR code with their name underneath. If you do not have a badge and you have been receiving the ID cards, they're going to have a username and password. When they type in their username and password, they have to select the Login with Clever option, which is the second option. The first one is a badge. Second is Login with Clever. And then they're going to put in the username and password lowercase to sign in. Our second, third, and fourth grade students have this memorized, so they can automatically just sign in with their password and username. Once your child has signed in, they're going to see a layout that looks like this. And I'm actually going to show you an actual student account that has resources ready. Once your child is signed in, they're going to have Clever on the left side, along with some of the resources they use on a day-to-day -day basis. Dreambox is actually something they may be using for math, and they also have something else called iStation. If you scroll down to your applications, you can see Dreambox, iStation, Studies Weekly, which is used for social studies and science. And then if you go up, one of the most important areas is the teacher pages section. This is going to be the area where your child's teacher will probably be posting activities and things to do during the week. We also have our general Genoa apps page. On this page, you have Flipgrid and Google Classrooms for those teachers that have been using Flipgrid and Google. These both are direct links to each website where your child can put in their information. Now we're going to go ahead and sample a teacher page. Under the teachers page, this is one where a teacher has posted math activities. Number talk one, number talk two. They also have added some activities for social studies, science. These teacher pages will be changing daily or weekly. So if your teacher has posted something on one page, one day she might say, on Thursday, look for changes on my Clever teacher page. And that's where you would go in to see that things have changed or updated within the teacher page. Now, I really hope that this video is user friendly. And if you have any questions regarding your child's user account information or a teacher's account information or anything technology wise, please feel free to email me at my email address. It's kmartinez2 at pasadenaisd.org. Don't worry if you did not get that. I will type it into our Genoa Facebook page and also give it to our homeroom teachers so that if you have any questions, you can go and email me anytime. I really hope to hear from you soon, and we're looking forward to starting this distance learning journey together. Stay well, and I hope you have a great day.